had been released from captivity. Darius, which was uh, the king at the time of Persia, had instructed them to rebuild God's house. 15 to 18 years had done gone by. Now when I read that, I'm thinking, okay, so they got released from captivity. They're out of it. Why didn't they go back home? Why didn't they go back to Jerusalem and start building Jerusalem back? Because sometimes we get too comfortable in our circumstances. They get used to being treated a certain way and living a certain way and all of a sudden you think that that's just normal. You understand what I'm saying? We are bad to get comfortable in our circumstances instead of doing what we need to do to move forward. So instead of going back when they had the opportunity some 15 to 18 years later did it take them to go back home and start that work, they were procrastinating instead of doing what they were supposed to be doing. Now do you ever procrastinate to not want to do something that you know you should be doing? You know. You know that you know. You know. And we like to procrastinate. Well, like I said, that's not real pleasing to God in a lot of different situations. Um, so anyway, so God has finally gotten tired of waiting, so here He is. His house is lying in shambles. Lying in shambles. So what are the Israelites, or what is Judah doing? They're working on their own houses. Their own fancy paneled houses. They're, they're building, they're working on it 15 to 18 years, folks. And God's house lay in shambles. 